Hannah Green, uh, unbelievable last three strides uh, to uh, get that uh, last auto qualifier. I mean, uh, I mean uh, could, could you feel that, that you were moving and you might catch uh, Laura or Olivia there? Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to catch him. I felt like I was moving a little bit, but it was just kind of pushing it. I knew I was right there, and I was like, I can't be right here and not get it. So I just gave it all I had that last, I don't know, 15, 10 meters. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean, it was like, like literally the last, I mean, did you know, like on those last two or three strides, that, that, that you had done enough, or was it wait, waiting to see the board? Uh, I think I knew I had passed at least one of them on the last few strides, and I was pretty happy about it. I certainly wasn't going to let up. <laughs> Just kept going. Obviously, it, show, it, shows, it shows the depth of, uh, of this event when Laura runs double 084 and, and, and doesn't qualify. So, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, how much of a challenge is this? Um, well, I mean, that was a big PR for me, so yeah. um, I was actually surprised because I didn't know how fast we were going. I didn't really see any of the clocks, and... I was definitely hard. Um, certainly never had to run that fast to move on to something else. So. Was that your first PB as a pro? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't PR since sophomore year of college, I think. So. Yeah. So what took so long? Uh, I don't know. Um, just I think after sophomore year, I injured my hamstring. The year after that, it was something else. This year, actually, a few weeks ago, I wasn't even running for two weeks because I had injured my foot. Um, so this is only my second, I guess, third now since I ran the Taylor's. Made it 100 this season, and I think it's helped a little bit because I'm really fresh and not worn out or anything. Yet, so. is, this, is this your second year with OTC? Or? First year. First I graduated year. last year. Okay. okay. What year was your sophomore? When was, what year was your PR from? Um, sophomore year. 2015? Yeah, around then, I think. So, has the transition to being a pro gone smoothly? Have there been any hiccups? Uh, it's been pretty smooth so far. Um, I've enjoyed the training, other than the one slight injury, it hasn't been anything holding me back, and I feel like I've adapted pretty well to it. Oh, I love it. I'm so much better. I was always, like, by the time we hit USA's in college, I was just so worn out, so tired at the end of the race, and this I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling like I'm burning out at the end, so it's great. What's the goal for the final? Uh, PR, I guess, and hopefully get one of the top spots. Hannah, when, when, you, when, you ran, uh, when you ran that back then, I mean, I think a, a, a lot of people uh, uh, felt like uh, the, 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 the next stop for you was you, know, you were going to be one of uh, one of those collegiates that was going to run 159. So I mean, so I mean, but, but be able to, uh, to do this uh, today and just the way training has been going. Now that you come back from, you know, uh, from the foot, I mean, does it seem like that's more tangible, or are the workouts telling you that your body's in that type of shape? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I can take two weeks off and then train for three weeks and come here and run a PR is pretty great. So I think once I get a few more weeks of training in and run again, hopefully it'll or hey, maybe Sunday. Okay. I'll get that 159. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thanks,